Yeah, hey, how's it going out there in zombie land? I hope you're doing okay. Not getting torn to bits, zombified, keeping those brains intact. Uh, today, um, I'm going to be doing the review for Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Nintendo Wii. And there are three great elements of this game that make it an awesome game and experience that then can be applied to the real world to help us defeat these zombies. First is the whole well wolf aspect, second the Wii remote with the sword swinging, and third the whole complexity of the game, the narrative, the way that you're able to travel to one location to the other, and so forth. So Link's ability to turn into a wolf is a new element of the Legend of Zelda series. The fact that he's able to turn into a, a wolf is thanks to some shit called the Twilight. Unfortunately, in our world, we don't have this thing called the Twilight. What we do have is a total world covered in darkness, zombified nation. So what I propose is that we somehow go out into the world and create human-wolf hybrids in order to combat the zombie nation. So we have to figure out a way to create this human-wolf hybrid that somehow is exactly like the same thing in Legend of Zelda. Now when Link turns into a wolf, he has all these different abilities. He's able to sense the things around him due to his wolf sensing abilities. He's able to dig underground. He's able to fight at a more agile speed. And I believe if we were able to go out and recreate this, that this would have some kind of advantage over the zombies. For example, we might want to try to experiment breaking into the local zoo and start fucking some wolves. And then, nine months down the line, we could have the ancient hero of time, this hybrid wolf-human-male thing that's able to arise and defeat the zombie nation. I don't know. That's just a suggestion from the game that we could probably apply to the real-world situation. So another great aspect of this game is the Nintendo Wii Remote. The Nintendo Wii Remote trains you to be a zombie killer. In the game, you learn new skills as a swordsman throughout your adventures as Link. You learn how to do a spin attack, a jab attack, a head attack. It's just a simple strike here, simple strike there. Now I think that we can take this skill after playing the game for about 50 or 60 hours and apply it to real life. A Wii Remote is a sword, and we can go out and defeat these creatures because we'll become master swordsmen, or blade masters, as you will, and defeat these evil creatures. The final aspect that I want to talk about is the expansiveness of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is a large game, and there's a lot to do. And in the game, you need to work together with different cultures and different people in order to overcome obstacles and to complete your goals. Now, this can be definitely applied to uh, the real situation that we're facing right now. We've got to team up. We gotta work together, right? Or else we're gonna get fucked. So we need to work with different cultures, we need to put our prejudices aside, um, except for, uh, you know, old people. Fuck them. <laughs> Those three things that we see in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Nintendo Wii can definitely be applied to our situation here on Earth against the zombie force that we face. The whole wolf thing, the Nintendo Wii controller training us to become master swordsmen, blade masters, and the expansiveness and teamwork that the game has to offer can definitely be applied to our situation. So what do I give Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? Well, I give it 5 out of 5 old styles.